Good morning, folks. Hope you're all doing great. Uh, so today we're going to take a look at uh, an B minor version 39.5. Uh, we're interested here to see if uh, this version of ambient minor is any good with mining gurgle. Uh, so I did last video to show you how to add NB minor uh, ergo mining to NiceHash. However, here we're going to focus only on a mining uh, benchmark for the Gigabyte revision 3360 Ti. Uh, so here I'm currently relating the uh, release notes. So they're saying the new LHR mode for mining ergo enabled by adding LHR option manually. And here they're saying, however, if you have a Hynix GDR6 memory, LHR mode is not recommended for the poor performance. And for GPU with non Hynix GDR6 memory, the TDR60 Ti, like here, like we have, we're gonna try we'll try to mine with this uh, configuration LHR85. And you have GPUs uh, with GDR6X, uh, like with 70 Ti, 3080, 3080 Ti. We're gonna start with LHR 100. Uh, however, when mining is detected during ergo mining, miner will automatically decrease LHR uh, value by 0 0.5 and continue mining. Max decrease times is 10, which jumps to 5.0. Um, and you can here uh, click Optimize Ergo to lower consumption on NVIDIA GPUs. Uh, so I went here and I downloaded the, the WinZip file here. This is the official repository, so you can always refer to this uh, to download for the future. Uh, this is the only uh, official one, uh, so I don't advise you to download from other sites. It's just github slash nebutech slash nbminer slash releases. So I downloaded the file and I have the file here. And also... Uh, I added my settings here, so this is I just copied here like I showed in the last video and I click my uh, nice hash settings. So now I'm going to run it with no LHR option and see how much uh, we're getting here. I uh, do know I have another 1660i on this, so uh, we're going to test with both option. So it seems to be uh, working fine with the auto Lico's job. And I'm here, I'm pointing this to USA East. So here I'm getting 101 mega hash on the 360 Ti. Uh, the power is 143 watt. And here I don't have any fan reading. However, the temperature is 53 degrees Celsius. I'm managing my sending stores uh, with the uh, MSI afterburner here. So I have just to show you minus 200 on the core clock plus uh, 1200 on the memory clock and I'm having the fan speed automatic and power limit to 60% so I'm power limiting my cards anyway on this and you see here it went down to 88.24 mega hash uh, don't mind of course this is an LHR card so we're not gonna get optimal settings like the regular one and still 87 uh, so let's turn this off now and let's try to add here the LHR option. So I'll add here minus LHR85. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna run it again. As you can see here, detected the LHR mode, 85, same as they recommended here in the release notes. So we're just following their footsteps. And uh, after that, I'll try with this optimization, although I'm not sure how well it's gonna help because I already power limited my card uh, with uh, Afterburner. So I'm getting in 121, guys. So you see here, uh, already there's a uh, much increase, like you know, we we're 101, 88, and now we're 131.8. So it looks like the Ergo Mining, the NB Miner team did a great job with that. Let's see though if it can maintain it. That's the important question here. So the good thing is, you know, the challenge are they always swing up and down, up and down always. So uh, what I care here is stability. Um, so I'm hoping to get stable values and yes 133.2 so uh, yeah 
it looks like it's uh, stabilizing here on 133 let's uh, see if the next run will be two at 133 or it's gonna go lower I'm interested to see that same power 134 the temperature is 58 and yeah it looks like uh, the one the next one too is 133 it looks like it's stable uh, usually like when I mine Ethereum with this card uh, with the Gigabyte of course uh, 360 Ti Revision 3 it's swinging more however here it seems to have done a good job and see yeah it's working fine so it looks like Ergo Mining it's uh, doing a great job here and if I go just I want to check what to mine dot com let's see which is the top Ergo is not at our top right now, so it's not. Let's just uh, fix the values here and put this here. And auto leakers, we're getting 125, we're getting 133.2, so we're even getting better values. And uh, Ergo mining now is not on the top of the cars, it's here as you can see. So uh, it's $2.39 uh, profit, so one forty six. So currently now, of course, the best thing to mine is uh, Ethereum hash, so, and Ravencoin after, but, if, you know, if you want, Ergo Mining is a good option, because what I liked about it is that I was looking at the, the configuration here, of the performance, and, uh, not just the performance, I was looking at the minimum requirements for this mostly and as you see here 3 gigabyte for Windows 10 and uh, Windows uh, 7 so uh, you know guys, you know because currently now if you have uh, KPOB you need 4 gigabyte, if you have Ethereum you need on Windows, I'm assuming everyone has Windows 6 gigabytes so let's say you have uh, an old card with 3 gigabytes of uh, you know the DD, uh, DDR memory and you want to mine, you can mine Ergo because uh, you can mine the other cards, so I think that's an advantage of uh, Ergo mining. Like you know, if you have a 1650, you can mine uh, either K power and Ergo, but uh, K power sometimes tend to take more power than uh, Ergo. Uh, so uh, let's try the last setting, guys, as we mentioned here. So I'm gonna go back to the release notes, and uh, they mentioned here to have optimized Ergo. So let me try with that. We're still getting 131, so the LHR, uh, you know, uh, hack that they did is working and it's uh, stabilizing, it's not swinging up and down. So we're gonna hear 130 to 30.2, but we're still still above uh, 30. And if I go here again, I just added my bat file. I'll, uh, I'll put here optimize ergo, I'll save my my file and run it again. I'm interested to see if uh, there's any difference. So here the LHR mode 85. Uh, let's see most importantly the power settings if uh, they're any different. However, you know, I, I still think it's most important to just update those settings with the uh, afterburner. Afterburner is the best uh, tool to update this. 129, power 140. Uh, not much change with that. Like you can play with it and uh, you know tamper with it if you want. But if you have uh, you already you're power limiting your card, I don't think it's gonna do much difference. The most important thing though is to have the LHR 85 for the 360i. And they mentioned if you have a 3080, uh, 3070 Ti, so all the you know, revision 2 of the 30, uh, 3080s too, uh, you have to uh, put LHR 100. And I'm hoping, I don't have a card now to test this, but maybe you can have uh, a much better unlock with that. I don't know if it's 100%, but it's much better. So, uh, 134 power, 134 watt. I didn't see much difference, honestly. Uh, I think, but you see, we lost here a bit of uh, hashing power, so we 133, 131, we're at 129. So I do recommend you just focus on the LHR 85 uh, configuration parameter. Uh, so I hope you like this video, guys. Uh, please subscribe, uh, leave me a question if you want. Have a great day, folks.